Born aloft, the wings of his own making is Justin Shanga, an African star on the rise. Aiba, Al Hali, Simba Football Club, and of course Orlando Pirate all desire his services. But who's Justin Shanga? We are going to discover that in a bit. Hi Justin, my name is Letabo Swanda. Thank you for allowing us to have this time with you. Um, I'd like to start by asking, please tell us about yourself. Who, who are you? Uh, I'm Justin Shanga. And I'm junior. If I uh, keep it his name of Justin, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I'm just a police officer, plays soccer also. Mm -hmm. Orlando Pirates international team for Zambia. All right. And how did you get to know that you'd want you'd want to do soccer as a career? Where did it all start? I think it all started from my uh, father, cause he used to play soccer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was born in the family of we nine and mm -hmm. then the eighth born. Yeah. And I followed my elder brother's footsteps. My father used to play soccer mm -hmm. for City of Osaka and Zesco. And I used to inspire so much on my elder brother. Mm. Yeah. And and when you left your previous team, how did it make you feel when you had to change or switch or find Another team to play for. As in, uh, when I left Mkwazi, it was a bit difficult for me to adapt to uh, the play mm -hmm. in South Africa, as in uh, the way they play soccer here. Mm -hmm. The ups are because I left MTN, Super League in Zambia. Mm -hmm. And it was like. Drastic uh, change. Yeah, it was a drastic change because it was so quick. Because I didn't even spend about two years in Mkwazi. But I spent uh, one year and a half. Okay. And how is it playing for Pirates now? How do your mates inspire you? How do you, what kind of a fellowship or relationship do you have with them? My mates are my fellow players there, but by, by, by Pirates, they encourage me so much, as in, I used to watch them on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even when I was at school, I used to watch them on TV, like when they were playing, I used to inspire so much, like as in, I want to play for one of the biggest clubs in Africa. And that has helped you grow? Yeah, that has helped me grow. Since then. What advice would you give to your younger self if you were to go back and reflect? I think I would say, uh, in life, everything is not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you focus, and then you work so hard and then everything will go your way and uh, for you to make it enough you have to put an extra effort mm -hmm. in everything that you do in life so I just have to say as in it's not so easy mm -hmm. yeah for you to make it in life and uh, you've got also the young ones who are looking up to you Yes. Yeah, so you just have to inspire them so much and then you have to keep focused mm -hmm. and work hard. On that note, what's your daily motivation? What keeps you going? I think it's my family and my daughter, mm -hmm. the one I have uh, by the name of Faith. Mm -hmm. uh, she keeps me going as in I have to provide everything. Yes. And I'm like, uh, at home, I'm a breadwinner. So, yeah. And I know that they look up to me every time. So yes. if I'm going to let them down, then they're not going to get anything. Awesome. And before we forget, what made you choose soccer as a career? Did you have uh, something else that you had in mind if soccer wasn't your place? Uh, I would say it all began with my father. Yes. Yeah. Including my elder brothers, they used to play soccer. So I used to so look up to them. So it runs in the family? Yeah, from the family, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to look up to them when they were playing soccer, when they were active. Mm -hmm. As in, I want to be like them one day. Mm -hmm. And then that motivated me so much, and that my father played soccer for Zambia also. Yeah, so I really, really wanted to 
and so forth. So. Great. And do you face any challenges when you're on the field, when you're out of the field? And how do you tackle those challenges? How do you overcome those challenges? I would say, uh, as a footballer, it's not so easy for you to play soccer because the fans, they don't uh, appreciate in any way. As in, whatever you do, like for a big club like Orlando Pirates, mm -hmm. even when I used to play for Mwazi, uh, every day, when you go into the beach, they want you to deliver. So it's not so easy. And then off the field, I would say, uh, it's not it's not so easy. As in the fans, when they meet you, they want to take pictures with you, they would appreciate you, mm -hmm. motivate you. Whereas when you go into the beach, it's something else. Mm. And a lot of soccer um, players, are, when their career ends, they have a they go through a lot of financial challenges and what would you say or what are the measures that you take for you to secure your future after your soccer career ends i would say we as footballers we've learned so much from the old players those who used to play soccer yes. before us as in they they never used to invest Mm -hmm. Yeah, from what they used to have. So, as a, for us, we it's it's a day to day living thing that you need to invest. You need to know where you up to, and uh, how to invest. Because right now you've got uh, they would say you've got an agent like a manager, yes, stuff like that. Yeah, so you need to use those people. They would advise you. Assist. How to spend your, your finances and stuff. So. Right. What is, who is your favorite soccer player? <laughs> uh, my favorite soccer player is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. How does he motivate you? Why is he your favorite soccer player? Because every time he plays, is up to his game. Yes. He delivers always. Because mm -hmm. everyone in the world looks up to him. Mm -hmm. Even other people look up to Messi. But... Okay, Ronaldo delivers because it doesn't matter the age that he is at. Yes. Yeah, because he delivers all it. Awesome. Um, lastly, do you think female soccer players um, have the same motive as male soccer players? Yeah, I would say, but there's a difference between us and the female players. Why is there a difference? What is that difference? I think it's the responsibility that we have. Okay. Yes, uh, as in us male footballers, mm -hmm. we head everything. As in, you need to be the head, not the tail, always, every time. Mm -hmm. When you do everything, you're building the house, because you need to be the head of But everything. things are changing. I mean, females sometimes do wear mm -hmm. the hats or wear the pants. <laughs> no. Yeah, but it's just normal, uh, I would say. But there's a big difference between us and them. Okay. You could even see the way they play, yeah, the amount of effort they put in into football. Mm -hmm. It's different from us, man. Okay. Yeah. Um, that'll be it from us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for sharing your time with us. And that's it from us. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the show On the Real with Justin Baya Shonga. Stay tuned on International African Met as we find out more. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.